so this is a good topic to go over with you guys because every once in a while you'll see this for yourself or for your client. You need to get them through it. Um, perhaps you've you've noticed it with powerlabs.us. Okay. So what this is, an action is required. Security defaults are enabled to keep your organization secure. And um, it wants you to set up multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication typically involves, so you've got a log on and a password to log into something. Those are your credentials. But sometimes usernames and passwords um, can be obtained and used not by that person, but by the, uh, a hacker or somebody with uh, bad intent. So there is another factor by which you can be authenticated. A third uh, factor, which is uh, a randomly generated ID that would be in an app on your phone. Okay. So perhaps you guys have already used two factor authentication. A lot of times banks want you to set up two factor authentication. So you try to log onto your online banking. Typically, they're going to say, oh, we just texted you a code uh, to the phone number that we have on file. Use that one to actually log in. So it's an, an added level of protection. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I recommend that you guys do, if you guys see this, you can. Uh, keep going and not use the authenticator. Uh, and it's supposedly at 14 days. Um, so I'm going to click next and actually go through this with you guys. Microsoft Authenticator, uh, start by getting the app. So I already have it downloaded. So if you're an Android user, you go to the, the Google Play Store. If you're an iOS or Apple user, then you will want to go to the Apple App Store and get that, that Microsoft um, Authenticator app. So you would do a search for that. After you install the Authenticator app on your device, choose next. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the app on my phone. Yeah, you're going you're going to have to have this Authenticator if you're going to bounce in and out of an account at all. So whenever just just look forward to that. If you've ever got a um, a situation where you got to go in and then sign out and sign back in, there's going to be times when the Authenticator is going to pop up and say you got to do this. Yeah. So I've got a lot of different accounts and things set up in my Authenticator not just one. So it's a good thing to, to get, um, you know, underway. It's just a new um, way of life. Yeah. You got to yeah. do it. <laughs> it's true. All right. So, um, and then in this case, you know, I've got a bunch of them here. I'm not installing it fresh. And if you saw fresh news, probably going to say, Hey, okay, you're ready to set this up and, and you would click next. Okay. In this case, I'm going to hit at the top of my screen. There's a little plus icon. Okay. And then it shows me, this is probably the best way of sharing a screen, but it shows me at the top, add account. Well, is it a personal account? Is it a work or school account? Or is it an other type of account like Google, Facebook, so on and so forth? So in this case, when, when Microsoft says a work or school account, um, what that is, is a non-Gmail, non-Hotmail type of account that's typically uh, Office 365 uh, tenant, you know? So... Um, I need to start saying, did I say Office 365? I meant to say M365. Right, right. Shame on you. <laughs> so I, I hit work or school account, okay? And it has this little pop-up. says, okay, scan QR code. I'm going to click on next here on this screen. So, so that's, a good, that's a good thing that you brought up, though, there, because I oftentimes, you know, I'm, this new way of life, is, I'm still new to it. And I've gotten tripped up a lot on that. And you've actually had to help me through a couple times on that. This work and school account. What do you mean work and school account? Why, you know? So, so really, yeah. what it is is they're looking for if it's a work or school account that they're looking for a Microsoft account, and it, otherwise it's a Google account or a Yahoo account or something like that. That's a personal account. That's what they're. That's the way they're looking at. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And in some cases, your email address that you use to log on to an M three sixty five Microsoft tenant, you know. Mm -hmm. It could be used as a, in a personal way, you know, like like there's a, a a OneDrive, and you just use it and use your email, your let, let's say your Power Labs US account. Yeah. Um, it's going to allow you to do that, right? But then there's out there's OneDrive for business, and yeah. if you have an uh, M365 account, you got a terabyte that's included in your basic account, you know. So you could be they could be used in two different ways. So I just thought I'd throw that out because it some stuff gets confusing. Um, it does. It, it does. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it says add work or school account. It says scan QR code. Okay. Now over here it says 
If prompted, allow notifications, then add an account. Okay, so I've already clicked on that plus and I've already clicked on work or school. Okay, now I'm going to click on next. All right, there's that QR code. I'm going to scan that QR code. Um, now, nobody scan mine. <laughs> nobody scan the screen, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm going to put that in. So this is how the authenticator works. It knows that only you can see these certain numbers on your device and only one person can have a phone number, right? And it, it asked me, so it showed a number 10 on there. So I entered 10 and, and it added it in my authenticator. Okay. So that's approved. That's set up. I'm going to click next. Now it wants me to enter my phone number. So I entered my phone number. Now it's going to have me uh, put the, the, um, the code in here. I'm not showing it because it's displaying my personal cell phone number there. That's that's something that Kurt and I came across a lot while we we're trying to set up our own tenant. You know, I had my credit card numbers out, I had my my personal residence out, and I had to be really careful. So I've set this up. I'm going to click next, and now it's got success. It's telling me I, I uh, did it right, and it's all set up. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to click on done. So now. It took me to a login screen. Okay. So this is my new login and it should have my password sign in timed out. Okay. I'm going to click sign in. Oh, look at that. Here on my authenticator, it tells me to type in the number I see there. Okay. And then my authenticator has been set up to use my fingerprint to authenticate it again to prove that it's me. So hopefully we're secure now. <laughs> yeah. Guys, for some reason, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video next. Let's see if they're right. Or you can select this playlist, which I've selected for you based on the content you're currently watching. Guys, got to hurry. Click one of them. Otherwise, YouTube's going to autoplay some other video, which you probably don't want. Thanks. <laughs>